Okay, the last thing you want to do um, before you ship the car is uh, on the ALH engine. You want to check the EGR uh, to see if it, to see what, what level it's at in terms of uh, minimum maximum. So you go into engine computer. You go to uh, adaptation. You select EGR. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Blonde moment. You got to log in first. So you go. Uh, you t enter one two two three three. That gets entered in this field right here. Sorry, I gotta do that again. One two two three three. Then you go to adaptation, EGR, and you can read the. Um, current value and then the new value there's a pop-up screen you want to go to typically 33768 is max so you want to change this 2 to a 3 and then you test and you can see the new value and then you save it and click yes so the only thing that does and then you can check it again EGR it's still 33768. Um, you can also then log out, log back in. Actually, hold on, I should cycle the key as well just in case. Okay, and then okay, I'm going to close the controller. Key is off. Just going to wait a couple of seconds. Key is back on engine and you'll need to log in again log in and again if everything pops up on Rostec if there's a known field that they have um, information for they provide it so one two two three three do it adaptation EGR you can see it's still the same. So basically what that number does is when the EGR is activated, it's opening to its minimum allowable. So you can read here, to reduce EGR to a minimum for off-road use only, that's just for their le legalities, uh, increase the value, typically 33768 is max. To restore EGR to stock, log in 111, oh sorry, 11 with 12233. Okay, so that's it, um, and that should slow the uh, carbon buildup. And again, the carbon buildup is only because the soot sticks to the oil, and the oil is there because of the PCV. If you put in a catch can, yes, that can reduce things, but you still have PCV fumes, aka vapors. Um, so anyways, that's it. Drain those intercoolers. Keep those engines safe. Thanks for watching.